here you can see the in diffusion process is, is basically a semantic portal of diffusion network in three different spatial scale. Here you can understand any information came into the national level, it goes to the regional level. And when it is goes to the regional level, it's spread out in local level. So it's a kind of, so any information and normally government or any governmental organization or the corporate house, when they got idea innovations, they keep it for in a certain place, in a national level. Then it goes to the regional level, then it's local level. That's a basically a structure of thing. So any information cannot come from national level to local level directly without missing regional level. So it had it has its own state for uh, for for spread out the diffusions. Now this is this concept is basically diffusion. So this these all concepts are diffusion. But when it's concept of the dissemination of information, here you can understand the dissemination of information in different way. Suppose you are disseminating some information through the library and information center. There you can um, you can adopt a new concept called selective dissemination of information service. What is selective dissemination of information service? Here uh, you have to create one profile for the users, another create for the document. So you, when you are creating user profile, you need to understand the, what code area of study of users. So you are selecting the terminology which is specifically used by that particular user. And that particular terminology, you are going to search every time with the document where you can get that kind of information and you are matching that one. And when both the document profile and the user profile being mapped, and if match the content, then you are giving some information to that particular user. If it's not matching, some suppose in 100, it has matched 60. So you are immediately presenting the 60 information, 40 cape for the 40, which is not being matched, that cape for the research. Again, you are going to search on that. So that's the kind of selecting dissemination of information. So you are disseminating, disseminating kind of information. That is in the, uh, in library level, you are translating, you are providing translating service, you are providing uh, that particular um, current awareness services, newspaper keeping services. These are the information service you are disseminating. Now, this is the very specific label used in the library. As far as the concept of the bigger dissemination is concerned, suppose your nation want to know something. The India wanted to know something on different aspect. So we, we are going to the going to inform the there are agencies, there are ministers, there are um, office of the prime ministers, there are different ministers. So whatever the information is specifically for a particular subject oriented, suppose on agriculture or commerce or aviation or anything, suppose you wanted to know the information. Mm, uh, you have to spread the information that the train will start running from 1st of June. So this information definitely given by the Ministry of Railway. Suppose from 25th March, uh, 5th May, your um, uh, flight going to be start. So this information will be given by the Ministry of Aviation. Now, how many cases, epidemic, um, COVID-19, detected and cure so this information will give by the medical department of health and family welfare so these are the divisions and for a major lockdown is concerned it will be given by the prime minister himself so these are the skeleton of information and it's given by the central government to the state government state government to the local authority local authority to the rural authority. This is the structure of dissemination of information where you are disseminating one information to the remote people. Now means and mechanism. Now, now generator, who are the generator of the of those information? Learned society, the different organizations, learned Indian Medical Research Institute, who World Health Organizations, uh, 
immediately they have played a vital role these these are the why people are told you need to wash your hand re rapidly regularly so when you are using um, washing your hand who who told you who coined this idea so the lord aid society who indian medical councils so they they collectively together decide okay the, this this can be happen if we take this this kind of precaution to we can avoid to become a patient of covid 19 so that has been done by the learned society professional association publishers also create many information professional associations means uh, indian medical associations they are they are doing lot of work on that uh, publishing publishers are publishing informations both commercial and non commercial any commercial organizations or non commercial ngos kind of thing they are also creating informations commercial informations they are more into the economic up information where non commercial is not at all take up the responsibility for journal publication with the peer reviewed system ensure quality this is uh, uh, another important aspect which is known by everybody that whenever you are writing something it has come up with the new ideas and uh, but your new idea probably new for you but that idea could be uh, could be known by others or the the way you are presenting the idea it need to be take some come up some kind of precaution on that issue what you are doing people are doing people sending their article to the um, for the peer review if the peer review people are satisfied then that is goes for the printing whole periodic seminars seminar symposium conference this is a very important aspect for the generation of informations every conference every conference every symposium or kind of seminar has given some kind of addition in the uh, knowledge creation so this is the means and mechanism for the uh, for the information now secondary periodical here you can understand secondary periodical in the form of abstract index annual review progress report state of art report these are the aspect which is appeared like after a uh, periodical suppose there is a periodical published that need to be abstract index or it could be put into the annual review some have progress report is used for the um, for the any kind of project dissertation thesis state of art report for a particular even particular concept or particular reason so these are the concept which are connected the uh, um, secondary form of informations uh, which can be produced now how could how could we improved and enhance that information system it was in printed and you were going to abstract it uh, indexed it now when it's come to the when new technology came up suppose uh, before when it it has come fast as a printed when printed become so mature then you need to have a kind of then immediately information technology has come into the existence here you are using cd rom for the kind of computer applications then you transform that cd rom into a medium when you are transform a cd rom into the medium so you are more focused on the what kind of information you are going to carry carry forward with that cd rom so you are more into cd rom product and that could be a information product then immediately when cd rom became saturated you got the internet connectivity then you are you are immediately focused on the electronics media and when you are elect here you can see that there are hundreds of media electronics media i uh, may surrounded you the communication media the presses the internet the television everything is become under electronics media then you came as a internet when internet came so everybody become a uh, information users directly web technologies that's create a kind of kind of new new started with a new energy into the spread up of informations 
your society, the society of India or at a whole, it was how it has changed. We have already discussed that it was in stone age and they have immediately shifted from the um, uh, agriculture society because they become uh, they become understand that agriculture is is much um, white collar job than the hunting is because in hunting you are always uh, behind the animals but here if you have to you are in the nature and you are doing something you are planting things and plant giving you back so you know, when and you will see the psychology of hunter psychology of a cultivator is different because hunter uh, always has a kind, kind of become a cruel mentality by hunting regularly when you are constant, when you are thinking of doing cultivation then you automatically when you are putting something in the soil and this grow up and giving feedback to you so it's kind of thing where you cannot be cruel at all it's become so psychological change it's a, because it, it, it has take long time if you find the, the crime probably uh, before agriculture agrarian society it was highest crime in agri, agri, agrarian society it's lesser crime because people are more into the nature and they understand the value of nature because nature started giving them written back when they are satisfied of the agriculture and um, the, its product they are more um, got they are um, getting food uh, from the nature they are very much happy then immediately new demand has came up with the new comfort new ideas new need new necessity has came up and immediately the society slowly 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 change into, into the industrial society when it has changed to the industrial society why it has changed to the industrial society because it was the requirement of the time it was the it was the demand of the society that's why that's why it has changed into industrial society when it, when industrial society has came up and the the information becomes become very important it was important at all mm, important of course in the agrarian society but industrial society uh, it is it is mm, more requirement because you have a competitions you have a competitors behind you and you need to create right now you don't have a much time for that but agrarian society it was you got a time you could do it because you if when when you were harvesting a paddy it takes at least three four months of time so you have a time in your hand you can you can do it but in a, a industrial society it was you don't have a time if you don't do it somebody will do it so you need to have a better technology better information now if you look at the idea of ancient mm, time how does rapidity of change the ancient Mesopotamia has came in 31350 BCE, ancient Egypt, BCE, ancient India, when Buddhist came to 2700 BCE. Here you can understand 1900 BCE and 1850 BCE, ancient China, then 1850 BCE, ancient Israel, then 900 BCE, ancient Greek. 800 BC ancient Rome, 295 BCE imperial China, and Mayan civilization 150 AD, 200 AD Japan civilizations, and 500 AD, 400 AD uh, medieval Europe. So you can understand the rapidity of change, how it has changed uh, rapidly. It is, it is the timelines of Indian. Uh, civilizations how it has changed in two, 2800 to 2000 BCE Indus Valley civilizations begin right to 1200 to 900 BC earliest holy scripture compiled right to 900 to 600 BCE Brahmanical religion developed emphasizing rituals and social obligations 200 to 300 BCE more holy scripture are written which include the idea of Recarnation and karma, as well as the rise of dev devotional movement, 
500 BCA Buddhism and Jainism found in India. Why Buddhism and Jainism has found in India? Because people do not want to want to be very. It's a big, basically a religion of moksha. So you need not to you need not to take from this materialistic art. You are you are in a different way. Your life is in a different way. You are more into mm, moksha and tag. So mm, it is a kind of different journey from the user life. So that has come into the existence and it is right back. So, so it is a kind of wisdom kind of thing in, in Indian mm, when Buddha, Buddha, Buddhism and Jainism came into existence. It is basically uh, the a, it is a wisdom of Indian society where we are going to going and how we are reacting to this nature. Here you can divide it four areas of history. One prehistory. Here you can understand the Big Bang, emergence of human tools, spoken language tools, then agriculture. Then it is 3500 BC writing of civilization. In ancient time, uh, in ancient time, you can understand civilization arises in Mesopotamia, Egypt of the Mura, Murals, uh, Pharaohs, uh, Egypt of Pharaohs, ancient India and China, Southern Ocean trade, classical Greece and Rome. Then 500 AD, fall of classical civilization. Here you can see the dark age in Europe, rise of Islam, Maya civilization, Mongol conquest, Renaissance, then 1500 AD, Vargas and discoveries. Yes, you can see the conquest of the America, liberal, liberal revolution, industrialism, industrialism, world war, and space age. So, this is four different age prehistory, ancient, middle, and modern age. Let us differentiate in different. BCs and AD. How could be information become cha agent change? So here you can understand if you look at the idea of hunting society and um, um, coexistence with nature. You are you if that time you usually coexisting with the nature, birth of hum human beings. You are into the nature. You are into the lap of the nature. Then agrarian society in thirteen thousand BC. Here you can develop it of irrigation technique and farm establishing uh, of settlement. So here you are more into the agriculture. You need to have a more water for your uh, field and uh, you are into the irrigation policies and you are frame up the different canals, uh, um, rivers into, the, into your own direction. So you are into that. Then end of 18th century, it's become an industrial society. Here, invention of a stream of locomotive and start of mass production. The information society. End of 20th century, invention of a computer start distribution and information. Then super smart society from 21st century, the society 5.0. This is the 21st century, super first century. On the other hand, here, on the industrial Society and the by the by the way, you have a mechanization, water power, steam power. You are more into science and technology. So you are industry here. When your society is 5.0, then you have industry 5.0. In 5.4, in 4.0, you are mechanizing water power steam, then mass production, assembly line, electricity. It was a bigger need and it was done. Then computer and automation because you do not have a, that much of manpower and you need to have a zero accuracy, zero tolerance. Then you have applied the computer. Then now you have a cyber physical system, industry 4.0. Now, these are the 2000, you can, you could see the social impact investment task force, first social impact bond. It, it is a financial changes you can you can understand in different different aspects then impact of the information knowledge in different sector here you can see the education and training all level 
so every government throughout the government you you could understand they have a, the priority that education for all so every children need to go school then when they have go, go goes to school they required a high higher education on higher education they are more into the mm, they are more into the research and development so you need you need to require a more higher education institute and you are focusing on that so when, one side because you understand that unless become educated edu educated you cannot read cannot understand the value of information and you cannot apply that information on the other hand research and development it's very important for the development of the society it's correlate and if you do not have a new information you cannot grow and you cannot shift yourself from the uh, hunting society to the agrarian agrarian society from the modern society you need to have a, always research and development so you need to focus on the research and development that's create lot of knowledge and we are in the age where we are sitting everybody house and we're um, discussing the concept then media media has a greater role in creating information and dissemination of information and diffusion of information the media immediately take up any kind of information it's make very easy accessible to the corner of the earth it's goes like anything now today's date preferably previously from last two three years three years back when it was more into the satellite connectivity and into the mm, the dicks antenna so you you are restricted with the kind of mm, tv in from media system within a certain zone but when it shifted to the internet communication with the mm, connect with the interface with the youtube many news channels you can find you are anywhere in this art you can find there program there content then government and all its function and activities information uh, one is government is always required a great number of information for the decision making if they do not have the proper decision uh, information they cannot take a proper decision it will mislead somewhere so you need to have a strong information system and you have created a strong information system from the national capital to the um, regional capital then to the district level the rural level you have created infrastructure for that and at the same time you are also creating information for the society so it's a vice versa government required information and at the same time government create information business and industry is is a is a is a very important aspect that uh, they create they required a lot of information for their development sustainability it's a question of if the industrial and research and business house do not have uh, knowledge do not have ideas then they cannot um, develop their selves and lastly life of the people life of the people cannot be grow up and cannot be well maintained unless they have a better uh, information um, system if they have a better information system they can go for the education they can go for the professions they can Mm, do their um, uh, their different hobbies in different way. Either they can create their life in a value addition system. So you require everywhere the information and its its impact. Now here you can see the role of the library. Libraries. What is the role of library? In impact of IT and libraries information system and services and their societal implication. Library. what exactly the library is doing library always acquisitions they acquire many informations the primary the secondary sources of information they analyze and they indexed they summarized they abstract and they mm, disseminate to the to their clientele it is the job of the library so either in school college universities or in the business organizations or in the government sector everywhere whenever a person required information a society required information they immediately rush to the in library a library is the place where you can find uh, the informations the impact of library cannot cannot be cannot be compared with the other means of informations because you have a ready made proved and authoritative information are there 
but everywhere you cannot get that kind of information because you do not know who is the creator of the information. That's the big, that's the biggest question in other information sources. Now, information product and service libraries are more more into the different information product. Now, it, anything which is come up as an online database today, it is the record of a, some kind of institutions libraries. They have created records. They have uh, accumulate different data into one place and they they are creating different products and services then information industries and the business today's date information uh, there are many organizations um, which are more into information so they are acting as an information sector even tourism sector you will find it's a it's the information agencies they are providing different kind of information for a different place and uh, the uh, what are the uh, what are the site to be see and uh, the pay to, um, a place of interest these are the information so everywhere you will find from medical to social uh, to economical to cultural to the tourism everywhere you find some kind of impact of libraries into the for creating and disseminating of information so Library has a better role, better role in information dissemination because library is the one place where the primary resources of information is usually find and that is kept for the new generations. Now, Indian society has the same um, characteristic with the normal society. Natural products, say, it was in, it was in. If you if you more focus on the, the Indianizations and here you can see that we are into the agriculture and we have value added on that knowledge with, with our experience, with our experience that is explicit knowledge, technology, added product and explicit knowledge through network and innovation knowledge and product and services. So, so that's kind of thing. So when you are required a raw material agricultural product, industrial product, information product and knowledge product. And it's a kind of social transmission. Now, in Indian society is also like that: agriculture society, industrial society. Now, it's it is a information society. Here, you can see. The, if you if you if you, I, I will give you some kind of examples. Uh, 13 to 13, 14 years back, you can understand the people have a mm, mm, uh, the, the medical association of India have given. Uh, report to the government of India that the children of India and especially women in India are um, prone to animity. So uh, somehow we need to take a kind of thing which has more iodine. So they find out that people of India are taking a maximum number of salt in their food. So they have asked the different industrialized industrialist and they told okay now you are going please don't sell salt in outer market started selling salt in 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 through corporate sector and when you are preparing salt it's a raw material you put iodine on that so it's become iodized salt when iodized salts will come then the health health will be recovered and it is a value addition on that product so Anything, any knowledge, any concepts are coming in, in, from, in, in it's come as a natural. Then we put the value addition, explicit knowledge, then, it, then explicit knowledge through networks, then it's a knowledge product and server. So raw material, industrial product, information product, and knowledge product. So these are four aspects in the Indian society, and we're moving towards that. And we have already reached our many goals. If you look at the consumerism of India, this is from 1947 as a typical Indian market were formed, Indian become independent nation, then retail through the textile sector has a greater impact. In 1980s, uh, emergence of brand and branded retail outlet, India opened door with economic reforms in 1991. You can understand so everybody can do business over here 
multiple format and product categories introduced. So before 1991, you have a, you are rigid with the one, two, three product with your India. Then in 1995-99, modern malls and introduced the U generation could understand you are more into mall than the local market. Then 2000 to 2005, rapid expansion of the multiple format of India's course uh, begins, Indian companies begin, then a high street shopping center began. In 2006, government allow up to 50%, 51% ADI, single banded foreign direct investment. Then this period, 2005 to 20, rapid modern malls. And so you could understand the consumerism means India has a, has a develop, de developing consumerism. Once they have a different kind of demand, now today's is kind of different demand with the span of time. Here is the, in IT sector, you could understand the India's Mm -hmm. in, in, in India's situations, it, if it is world is 38, so India's is 12.6 in, in 2013. In low income group, it's a little lesser, but high, high income group in India, 76.1. So internet per use of 100 people. So here you can see the car, the high income group is almost 60, 60 out of 100 people share in India. It is world, it is lesser. So, uh, so some of the creamy layer of in India, they are more into um, information and uh, communication technology, internet. Here you can understand the consumerism in India and its imp implications. Mahatma Gandhi, father of nation, very rightly hailed a consumer is the most important visitor of our previous. It's not depend on us. And he, he is not an in, interruption to our work. He is the purpose of it. We are not doing a favor to consumer by giving an opportunity. It is the doing us favor to giving him opportunity to serve him. That's basically their concept is. If library and information libraries are finding kind of opportunity in, in this information and society, uh, where the blazed people, blazed profession in, the, in this art, that we are able to uh, find out many, many scope where we can act uh, according to the need of the time. It is not the traditional thing cannot sustain for a long time. You need to change with the uh, span of a time. We need to focus what are the new areas that come up, where we can put our shoes and um, we, can, um, we can start working on that. And probably we can able to achieve uh, as many as Mm -hmm. as an information product, information dissemination, information innovations. These are the area we need to think of that. Now, what are the negative impact of that? The consumerism and industrialization in India. The negative way of consumerism includes depletions of natural resources and pollution of the art. The want and desire of the people changes according to the time. The more they have become better, they are purchasing power. But in case they are not able to do so, they feel dissatisfied. That's, that creates a lot of problem in the society. India is also progressive towards materialism, although this goes against its ancient philosophical approach towards um, materialism, which favor a simple non-materialistic life. I have already told you the Indian philosophy is a basic focus is the non materialistic life is i have told you the gen the 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 buddhism and jainism is a pure reflection of our wisdom our wisdom the way of life our social life so we require information not for the consumption for the processing itself and we are carry forward to that now what india looking forward we are looking forward sustainable development and what exactly the sustainable development is required no poverty no hunger good health and well-being quality education gender equality clean water and sanitation affordability and clean energy decent work and economic growth industry innovations and infrastructure required inequalities 
sustainability and communities, responsible consumption and production, climate action, life below water, means the marine concept, marine, marine science, mineral, um, marine science, life and land, the ecology, space justice and strong in institutions, partnership for the goals. So these 17 aspects which need to be more focused for the sustainable development of our, of the, and that is our goal basically, this sustainable. And that's why government of India has been excellent in some extent and towards an information society, but their focus is, their focus, they could, the, the recent government understand the business is area where you, from there you can get a good amount of money and through that money you can create a lot of infrastructure. Once infrastructure is ready, um, I have always find the developed country developed because they have already finished their basic infrastructure. They are ready with the infrastructure. Uh, we are in the development stage. Our infrastructure is bigger. Um, if you compare with the uh, European infrastructure and Indian infrastructure, Indian infrastructure is much, much more higher and um, ahead of that because we have bigger infrastructure. It's not the smaller one. And we're into the, we have two concepts. One is bigger and the con in intellectual faculty. And the government focus is on the same direction. And they are, um, they are fine, um, they, they, they have take up, these are the area need to be more focused. That's why you could understand that GDP growth from 6.3 in, in, in different quarter, because almost seven predictable, but it has because of COVID, it has um, got down. If you look at the different um, India's overall development index, uh, we are much ahead. Um, Eighteen uh, in uh, India's positions is eighteen, and educational skill eighteen, labor and employment labor employment labor eleven, and asset building entrepreneurship is fifteen. So these. If you compare it with the China, Argentina, South Africa, Brazil, Indonesia, and Turkey, India is much ahead of that. So you can understand what is our focus. Then you can understand that in education, we have from 1950s to 1970s, we have reached a different kind of goal. We have achieved, we, no, no nations cannot, can't think of that because the quantum of jump we have created, the, we have created a different kind of information infrastructure and we have a world-class university system. Uh, if you compare with the other university, I have seen the other international universities. We have a much more intellectual faculty, much more ability of the people and we have a faculty, but we need to have um, create kind of correlations between everything. And but the but the development you, you compare, we are in a much better positions. If you break, India is a young country. Why we call twenty seven percent of your populations are under fifteen. So it is it is a data of two thousand eighteen, yeah, and fifteen to twenty nine is twenty six percent. So the total populations you can understand twenty percent. It's one fourth populations. And half of the population, more, more than half of the population, under 30s. So you can understand the, the quantum of uh, manpower we have, where we can do much better. Now, if you look at the what development sector, and you can see in agriculture and allied service, the per capita total outlay 5.57%, rural development 9%, special area program 0.59%, irrigation and flood control 3.99%, industry and mineral we are giving 36.9%, whereas here social and community service 35.28%. Social community service means directly relating to the quality of life of the people. So on the other hand, Government are more focused on the on the on the um, quality development of life, uh, quality of life development in, in Indian nations. So we are looking for the bright India, and this is the Indian infrastructure. Thank you so much.